Thank you. I'm Dennis Walk, creator of Journey Bags. I believe every journey needs a bag and I'll be happy to make it for you. I've been doing this for about, well, since 2010. And uh, I just really love leather. I love the texture, the grain, the color. And I wanted to talk a little bit about my design process to give you an idea of how I create what I make. So often I'll get a hide of leather in and I like to really study it in a way it kind of tells me what it wants to be. I know that may sound a little odd, but this is, uh, this is a piece I cut the other day. It's a very high grain buffalo. And what I like about it is the natural edges of the, of the leather itself. So I have particular shapes that I use and rectangle, squares. Some, I've actually done some half, half moon bags by accident. And they, they came out in a very interesting way. So I'll take the characteristics of the leather and the way this came, it actually came to me with these holes in it. And I try to utilize everything that I get. So I'm not exactly sure, but I may decide to take another type of leather to make this pop and actually use it. I also, I just, a couple of months ago, I had an opportunity to pick up this gorgeous turquoise alligator. And it's rather unique. I've never seen this color since I've been making bags and I just had to have it. So with this, I could also do the same thing and just make it pop. I've got this gorgeous white alligator same same type of thing and often i'll set it up at night so that when i come in the morning the next day i've got somewhat of a clearer head and i can get an idea of how i if it works or not one of the bags that i designed with a green crocodile piece came out Really, really interesting. I combined some purple ostrich with it, some black ostrich, an outside pocket. This is like a cognac buffalo two-tone with uh, cowhide on the sides for the gusset and laced the crocodile on the back. So what's really important to me is besides the quality of the bag is the function of it. So I carry a bag myself and I actually like this so much that I decided to make one for myself. It's a little bit larger. It has the, the green crocodile, the same as, as the one I just showed you with the turquoise alligator, the black ostrich, the cognac ostrich, this particular piece of buffalo in the front, which is a pocket, didn't quite make it across, so I decided to use cutouts from another bag and make it work. And uh, so within the bag, just to give you an idea, is I've got an iPad, I've got my phone, I just started making checkbook covers, and a passport. Never know when you're going to have to get out of town. And the other thing that I like to do is um, have what I call as a key finder. I always attach my keys to this when I'm done using them. I put them back in there. I can always access them quickly. So I lost my train of thought. But the other thing that I like to do is I custom fit the bag to wh whoever's going to buy it, whether it be crossbody or over the shoulder. And uh, all of my bags come with a uh, lifetime warranty, my lifetime. As long as I'm alive, I'll be happy to take care of any issue you may have with them. And uh, each bag is, is individually custom fit to the customer. Just lovely, Dennis. Is there Thanks. another bag that you'd like to show us from the, the back wall or anything that you'd like to bring up front? Yeah, actually, this bag was made for 
a sustainable runway show that my wife Joanne was involved with. And my challenge was to find a way to incorporate sustainability into my bags. All my leather is, is ethically sourced and all of this leather was from other bags that I made cutouts, which I sew them all together as sort of like a fabric and then decided how I was gonna make it, make it work into a bag. So I got quite a lot going on here, but this is, I don't want to, it's other pieces. People might say they're scraps, but they're other pieces of leather. And this is called fish scaling. I just learned about that. Lovely. So um, when did you learn to um, make leather? What inspired you to dive in? Well, necessity is the mother of invention. So I was actually, when I graduated college, I took a trip up to Martha's Vineyard with some friends and I needed a job. And one of the places that uh, was hiring was a leather shop that needed a assistant and they were willing to train me. And that's where I got exposure to that. How amazing. Our journeys often just take us where we are meant to be. <laughs> so did you know at that moment that you were going to like do, you know, you were going to be a leather artist? Oh, not at all. In fact, so I was uh, 21 when, when that happened a few years ago. And uh, I didn't really play with leather until my wife needed a bag, which was quite a few years later. And uh, she asked me to make it for her. Oh, that, that is a wonderful story. Th thank you so much, 